Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to the app review, the series in which I take highly rated or interesting games that I find on Google Play Store, and I give them a whirl, and I give you my thoughts and where I think they're worth your time and your money. So today we're looking at Tales of Wind. Um, I picked this up because I got spammed relentlessly on Facebook with adverts for it, um, and normally games like this are awful, <laughs> but I thought I'd give it a blast. And um, yeah, so let's talk about that. But first, I want uh, one of the things that is inescapable in this game is uh, how incredibly, um, I'm laughing as I'm saying it because I'm going to show you in a second, uh, how incredibly cringeworthy the um, the dialogue and the, the voice acting is. Um, so I'm going to quickly take you through the, um, the character creation process. You can see I've got a level 17 warrior here, which we're going to jump on to show a little bit of the gameplay. Uh, but for now, if I was to make a new character, like just listen to this. Take it easy. I will always get your back. Take it easy. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so hammy. And also, it's different for the the opposite gender as well. So if I was to be a, a fool, can never become a mage. A fool can never become a mage. I don't know if you've ever heard that before, but like, well, it's true. I will always be by your side. I'm not afraid of darkness because I'm used to it. <laughs> okay, there we go. So anyway, <laughs> right. So to get back to like you know more serious things. In terms of classes, you've got the four, as you can see down the side, warrior, mage, cleric, and assassin. Um, on top of that, you then get promotion paths, which if you think of it as kind of just multi-classing, um, not a not multi classing like hero classing. So you can choose from one of two. So like say for the warrior, you get to go paladin or berserker. And it will, the game actually does show you, you know, sort of, well, a uh, glimpse of what your character would look like and the core skills that you can get, you can see they can change when I, I change between the, you know, the promotion classes. Anyway, I've went warrior just because it seemed like warriors generally in games like this is sort of the, it's the easy class. Do you know what I mean? At least to get going. So I like to pick stuff like that anyway, where I can sort of get a feel for the game without being like hamstrung by like, you know, um, a measure of like you know technicalness that I don't yet understand. Um, okay, so anyway, so there's a few things with this game. The way it plays is like your traditional sort of hack and slash RPG. Um, there are a dime a dozen on the Play Store. This one isn't terrible. Um, there's a few things to go over. Okay, so a lot of your information is just here on the screen for you to go. It's got your chat box at the bottom there if you want to actually bother talking to people I haven't because I, I'm really anti-social anyway right here on the left underneath my health where it's got quest and team like you can you can make groups to take on quests together up to um, a maximum party size of three I believe again not something that I've done personally but here so currently my quest is go to the kingdom interface and join the realm arena and affair board and okay yeah so that's basically just because i've unlocked a new mode and the game sort of you know whenever you unlock something new it makes you do it just so you're aware of how to do it so it does kind of walk you through um playing the game so it's not it's not terribly difficult to get hold of it's quite easy to play and uh the combat let's see if i can find something the combat's quite satisfying the only thing is is um while you can talk to other players in the chat box, one thing that's that's quite missing, I feel, is that there's a complete lack of dialogue with the NPCs. So, like, you know, this one, this Slack and Soldier here, they, they they come out with random quips, but I can't actually talk to them. Like, if I if I touch them, nothing happens. Okay. I'm trying to find like a yeah. Leslie. Have you got anything to say? Hey, yeah. Okay. So, like, some NPCs that have like quests or that offer services, you can talk to. And he just literally had that say, and that's it. Okay. The map is quite, um, it's quite big. And as you can see, I can search for things that I want to do here. And this is based on where I'm at. So obviously this is just the city map, but out there in the, 
the open world I can choose what I want to do down the side and what's what I do like about this game is um okay yeah that's lovely it won't show us because that's this is me um let's see if I can find one down the side answer Barbara the disciples questions okay so let's see if I'll try and do this quest if I click on it what I'll do is it'll take me to that destination anyway so it's nice in the regard that even if you can't find out where you're going from the map and you want to do it sort of the old fashioned way, you can just click on any given quest and it'll take you to where you need to be for that, which is a nice touch. Um, it means you don't need to be like super focused on it, which I think is a nice touch for, you know, a time wasty mobile game, which is the main source of cards. Uh, let's say the card realm, which cards are tradable? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to say super invincible cards or unidentified cards. Yeah. How to unlock the hidden power of a card. Enhance. Um, dismantle. Kingdom fame. Okay. No, that was wrong. Anyway, we don't need to spend time doing that. Right. We are going to talk about um, skills and all that th kind of thing as we go. So, outside of having quests that you can do in various areas, we have... The kingdom screen so this is really similar to like and a lot of other um like mobile rpgs they normally have like a hub place which is this and then you've got various activities you can do from here so let's see if we're going to go to the card realm i can use this to show off the um the combat okay so we'll start that yeah that's fine first try is free so I'll show the combat and then I'll talk about how you uh, enhance your character. So I use the, the stick in the left hand side to manoeuvre. And my abilities are here on the right hand side. So the sword attacks just literally just attack. And then I've got various abilities which, you know, you don't need me to tell you that a warrior attacks like his blade storm. Do you know what I mean? It's in almost every game these days. But you can see I get a load of different uh, abilities. Lost my train of thought there. <laughs> What's nice is uh, you get abilities based on your class, but you also get them based on cards as well, which you know I'll show you in a second. The combat it does feel quite satisfying in this. Um, it does have a little bit of weight to it, which is nice. It feels like your abilities do something, and your normal just sort of bog standard attack that you use in between like while your other abilities are on cooldown is comparatively weak um, which does sort of like emphasize you using your abilities whenever they're off cooldown okay so this guy is not too difficult just completely with with me Whatever that ability is, I can't remember off the top of my head. There we go. So that's literally all I had to do for for this particular thing. Um, okay, lovely. Thank you. Right, so that was the card realm for which we get cards. Right, okay, yeah, I got all this stuff, lovely. Now let's talk about how... Uh, how to strengthen your character because it's it's got that you know traditional RPG um, primary loop where you know you go out and you do X activity that gets you stronger through whatever means whether that's leveling up or increasing your gear and from that you then get to do harder activities that let you do better that let you get better gear etc etc okay so there's a few ways of increasing the the wait it's called BR which I assume is battle rating of your character. So let's have a look. Um, if I can find out where everything's at, that's one thing that this game sort of struggles with a little bit. There we go. Is that it doesn't necessarily tell you how to navigate through all the menus. So, right, where are we at? This is what I've got equipped. So these are my class skills. I get these as I level up. I've got one point left which I can use to upgrade a skill and as you can see here these ones that are sort of a bit more grayed out 
they're ones that I unlock anyway, and then putting points in them just increases the effectiveness. And then once I've got a certain amount in them, then I can go into one of these lower tier things where it just gives it an added effect. Okay, so I'll just put that in Thunderclap. Okay, so you've got your you've got your skills. Okay, you've got weapon skills and it says glove skill, but it's, again that's based on cards. Okay. So as you level up, your your skills naturally, not your skills, your um, your attributes naturally get better. Your your battle rating goes up just whenever you level up. But also on top of that, as you just saw there, anytime you increase your skills, then your battle rating goes up. And also, uh, let me see, got to find out where it's at. Might be in my bag. Right, well this is a good example anyway. So as you can see down the side here, I've got weapon, gloves, chest, armor, pants, belt, boots, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now, the tier of these, um, as you can see, it's only got one slot at the moment. That's because, you know, my gear is relatively low level. As I get better gear, that'll have more card slots. And I can slot cards into it. If you think the, if you, if you ever played Warcraft, um, it's similar to just putting gems in your gear. It's usually just, um, flat stat increases but sometimes it gives you skills so you can see on our we our weapon we've got a, a fat choco weapon card okay which gives us plus 10 agility and plus 849 hp but this also gave us the um where we ask the fat choco transform skill okay so different cards can also give you skills which you can use Obviously, as you can see, um, I don't unlock my last sort of slot for skills until level 22. So I've got like four main weapon skills and two that I can use from, you know, various cards. At least so far, it might get more. I might get access to more as I level up more. Where are we at? Menuing is like the worst thing of this game by far. <laughs> it's not what I'm looking for bag okay here this is what see this is what i was looking for what i would call my character screen okay so you can see it follows the the generic sort of rpg color system based on um rarity of gear so greens common blues uncommon purples epic orange is legendary you know it's, it's very standard at this point so i'm actually not even wearing a helm yet but you can see i've got gear here that gives me flat stats and obviously I get better gear, I get better stats, my battle rating goes up, you get the idea. Now as well as, um, I'm not even sure what that screen is, if we go back to the kingdom page. So we did the card realm there, that's cards to put in our gear, equipment realm will let us get equipment. Why is this taking me to here, just let me, let me go. Where are you taking me? <laughs> it never made me do this before. Okay, well there we go. So, um, <clears throat> here you can see that I've got various different, well, the game refers to them as stories, okay? But really they're kind of like instances um, and uh, they're gated by level. So I can only do moon chapter at the moment until I hit level 20. So we'll quickly do that. Um, I found that doing sort of the main story quests is um I feel like that's where most of the time and energy of the development's gone into because a lot of that is reasonably polished like terrible voice acting aside uh, these bits here you where you get like several attempts a day for um for increasing your stats through like better cards and better better gear I feel like these are just kind of, kind of just tacked on because it's literally just a linear path with a few enemies and then a boss that you've got to kill and then you get your you get your loot and that's it. So I'll show you I'll show you the the fat chop or transformation skill. And it like I mean it looks terrible. <laughs> What's nice though is there is a, like you can see here that she's got 
Bloodthirst Rose Margaret. We have to... There is mechanics to the bosses and things that you need to avoid. Like, for instance, if I got hit by that, that would probably be pretty rough. So there is, like, it's not... It's hack and slash, but there is sort of an element of... Um, Ooh, got some purple boots there, nice. <laughs> yeah, there is like, it's not mindless, basically. You do have to have a, a certain amount of presence of mind, which is fun. It makes for good gameplay. Like I say, the, the main quest line is generally sort of where I feel like most of the time and energies went. It's a shame that I couldn't show you any of the cutscenes because... Like you've seen the character selection screen and the cutscenes are like that but on steroids. The the acting the the voice acting is hammy, is so hammy and it's so cheesy, but it's in a weird kind of way, it's endearing because like you know it's gonna be bad. It's it's basically right, if I had to sum this up really quickly, this game is like the zombies of mobile games. It's so terrible that you just can't help but get attached to it. <laughs> Okay, let's see if there's anything I can... Yeah, so I'm a, like, in terms of quests, I had to earn kingdom fame here to be able to, you know, progress the storyline. The storyline so far, um, it's been reasonably engaging. Uh, it's generic high fantasy stuff. Uh, you know, there's a big bad and you've got to do something about it. Um, but it's not... Even, like I say, even though I've been harping on about how bad the voice acting is and how cheesy it is, it's not terrible in terms of like plot line. Um, it's enough to keep you interested. Now, let's talk about money and whether this game is worth putting money into because it does have a freemium model. Um, so this game's this game's. Let's say a real life currency, okay, is spirals. So I haven't yet found a need to buy these, okay? I mean, I'm usually quite um, frugal with my money. And I usually have to really like a game for me to put money into it. But what's nice about this game so far is that I've probably put five or six hours into it and I haven't felt any need to spend money to help me along or anything. So I might be wrong, but at least at this point in time, you know, like with five or six hours play, I think it's a reasonable assumption to say that it's probably more an end game thing that you're encouraged to spend money to buy things from the shop. Mainly because all these things here that um, that cost spirals, like for instance here, Enhancement Gem 2, greatly enhances, increases your success rate when enhancing equipment. I haven't felt, I haven't needed to do any of that yet. So I'm not sure what the level cap is, but you know I haven't hit it yet, so it's um, whether you want to put money in. Again, I can't really say whether it's worth it. What I can comment on is that if you want something to drop, you know, a reasonable amount of time in without feeling the need to put money in, then this isn't the worst app in the world for that. Let's see. So to sum up, it's a reasonable amount of fun. It's your generic, you know, hack and slash RPG. It's incredibly cheesy. The voice acting's terrible, but that's kind of funny. Um, and it's worth your time, I think. Graphically, I mean, it does have that sort of like anime aesthetic, which may not be for everyone, but in terms of graphical fidelity, it's reasonably pretty and it's reasonably well animated. And I haven't really noticed any slowdown, so it seems pretty good across, you know, most devices. Uh, I can say this because I'm using a... Samsung S7, so it's, it's not exactly cutting edge, and it's it's played this game without any issue. So yeah, I would give it a tentative thumbs up. Okay, so this was the app review for Tales of Wind. If you like what you see, check it out. Let me know anything that I've missed in the comments, and you know, someone who's maybe put more time into this can tell me more about the end game of it. Uh, until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time with something else.